Welcome to this demonstration of how to perform test automation on Microsoft Dynamics CRM using LeapTest and our upcoming support for Selenium. What we'll do in this video is we will uh, log into Dynamics and show how to work with leads. And we'll begin by adding a new start web browser block to our test case. And then uh, we'll go to Dynamics and one of my colleagues had set up uh, this, uh, this Dynamics um, instance. So I'm just going to use that, paste. Um, and uh, then we will add a click web element block. And when I click here, um, a browser will open and we can begin to interact with the page. And what I want to do is I want to capture this um, email um, field so that we can enter an email and uh, what we see here is a, is a window that has found um, strategies for finding uniqueness about this one field. And it, it found that it was an input field and it had an ID of credentials, use ID, input text. But we could pick any one of the other generated strategies like this one. Um, it really doesn't matter. All of them are unique. We'll pick this one and then we'll add a type web block and then type in the username that um, I've been given. Here we go. We'll just paste that in. And then we are going to uh, click on the uh, password field. Here we go. And uh, we'll also type in a password. And I'm just going to change the properties of this type text block to be a password. And then type in the password that I was given, like so. And then finally, we will click on the uh, login block uh, button, which is right here. We'll capture that. There we go. It's a button with that ID. That's fine. Um, the thing is, uh, before we proceed, um, Dynamics is actually uh, being quite clever with the with the DOM. And in this case, once you start entering an email address. Um, you can see something is going sort of on behind the scenes. And in fact, the sign in button will be switched out dynamically. Um, uh, so what we will have to do is figure out a way to wait for the sign in button to actually have been changed to the uh, to the correct uh, one. And we can use this feature inside the click web element block called await DOM change. So if we just check that off, we can say we want to await uh, no DOM changes having been made in a rolling window of uh, one second. And we can do the same thing actually for XHR requests. Um, but in this case, all we need to do is just await DOM changes. So we'll turn that on. And then basically, we'll just try to run our case. Here we go. Um, a browser is going to appear and is going to navigate to that login page and the case is uh, running. And we can see the sign in button hasn't been clicked yet because apparently we're awaiting DOM changes. And here we go, the login was successful. All right, so um, there's one thing um, that I've noticed, at least when working with Dynamics in this trial version, that sometimes this front page doesn't always load by itself and you sort of have to refresh to get there. And so I wanted to just uh, fix that in this case. What we'll do is we will go and validate using a find web element and capture just the Dynamics logo here and ensure that we have seen that logo to ensure that the page is loaded. And we'll just set a timeout for one second after the page is, is done loading. If we have not found this uh, logo after one second, we'll use a navigate web block to just go uh, again, try to, uh, try to go to the web address where we uh, wanted to go to. This isn't the login page. This is actually the front page of, uh, of Dynamics, as you can see. So we'll do that. And then we'll return to uh, to this one. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. Uh, so we'll, we'll keep uh, trying to go to that address and, and look for the Dynamics logo. And if all of that works, we'll proceed to the next step, which will be to click on the uh, to the leads uh, sorry, the, the sales drop down here and then onwards to leads. I'm just going to capture that that drop down button there. Um, and um, and again, we can actually just try to run the case the way it is uh, right now. 
So we'll click run and the browser will appear and a new fresh one will open. And we can see that uh, the login happens. We sit here waiting a little bit for the DOM changes uh, to be done. And then uh, the login appears. Oh, and this time it actually also uh, loaded the front page. And then we can see it went straight ahead and clicked on uh, the drop down um, uh, so that we can uh, get to, uh, to the leads area of Dynamics CRM. So far, so good. Um, all I just want to do is really just take all of these blocks that are relating to login and just wrap them into a custom building block that will just call login to Dynamics CRM. Here we go. That makes our case a little easier to overview. If I zoom in, oh, sorry. If I zoom in like that, um, it's uh, we, we, we can build on top of this. So um, I'm going to add one more click web element here so that we can click on the uh, leads uh, sub menu. And um, then the next step is to create a new lead. And uh, I can show you what that looks like. Uh, what I'll do is I'll just turn off capture mode down here and then I can interact with the page. I'll click on the leads just like the, the case would. Otherwise, we would have to run the case again. That just takes too long. And we want to capture this new button up here. So I'm going to turn capture mode back on and we'll click on new and we find the new button. Uh, but again, here is one of those places where Dynamics is being clever. Uh, the new button will actually be switched out several times and um, the DOM will change. So we'll do the same thing again. We'll go in and say await DOM changes. We want one full second of no DOM changes before we proceed to try to, to click on the new block, uh, the new button here. Um, and then uh, we can just uh, move on. Um, the next step in our process is, um, again, I'll just turn capture mode off and click the new button manually. Uh, the next step would be to um, uh, click on name, for instance, this is just an example. So I'm just going to capture that, uh, that name field here to type in a name. Um, and here we can see we actually work completely seamlessly with iframes. So we found that this happens inside an iframe with that ID and inside is a label with that ID. And we can pick any of the other uh, strategies. They work just as well, um, just with iframes. Um, and uh, let's just go ahead and do a type web uh, block. You, you see what happens when you, if we, uh, we've already turned it off. If I click here, two fields are gonna appear where we can enter a first name and a last name. So I'm just going to type in Klaus and then capture the tab button. And then I'll type in my last name, which is Top Halt. Um, and then finally, in uh, just to round this off, we'll do a, a click web element and click on the done button. Here we go. That's the done button. And then we'll say that if all of this works, the case is passed. So this is our test case now. Let's uh, let's try to run that. Yeah, so the login process is going. And we'll see what happens this time. It seems like we'll stick to this login page again and we'll have to do that manual refresh, so to speak, after about a second. Yeah, here we go. And so as soon as this page is loaded, we go to the leads page and we wait for DOM changes. And then we click the new button and we click on the name, type in name and click the done button and the case is passed. So this was just a, um, a short demonstration of how to uh, perform test automation with um, a leap test on Microsoft Dynamics CRM using our upcoming support for uh, Selenium.